Hey, what's up YouTube, Keenan here. And today we're gonna talk a little bit about deadlifts. And I'm gonna give you guys a few tips that is gonna help prevent you from injuring your back. Now, I made a few mistakes as a beginner when I first started lifting. And I was lifting a certain way on these deadlifts. And it actually caused me to injure my lower back. So I had several years of excruciating pain and discomfort because of that, as a result of that. So in this video, I wanted to, sh I wanted to quickly show you guys uh, the mistake I made and how to prevent it. Um, this isn't for, this isn't as much for intermediate and you know, experienced lifters, but this is a great, this is a great video for any beginners and, you know, guys who are new to the gym, you know, if you're starting out, definitely keep this in mind and use this so that you do not injure your back the same way I did when I first started lifting. Here's the mistake I made that led to me injuring my back when I first started getting into weightlifting. So I didn't have a lot of experience with a regular barbell when I was doing deadlifts. So here's the mistake that I made. I would, I would set up, I would grip the bar and then I would hold the bar um, pretty far out in front of my body because I didn't want the bar to scrape against my shins for one, because it hurts. And for two, I didn't want that extra friction against the weight that would make the weight harder to actually lift up. So I would hold the weight out here and then um, not really thinking about it, it puts a lot more pressure in your lower back. See, when you have it back here, the weight is more centered with your body so it puts less pressure on your lower back it's like a lever and when you think about a lever if you put the weight out towards the end it puts a lot more pressure on that lever as opposed to bringing the weight closer there's a lot less pressure on that joint so that's exactly what I did to my lower back I had the weight out here and I would lift it it would put so much pressure on my back that it actually popped. And I believe I like slipped a disc in my lower back. And that caused me years of pain. I couldn't do deadlifts for several years. I had moments where I couldn't even bend down to tie my shoes. So that's why I want to make this video to help any beginners and prevent you guys from having that same injury because it was a very painful injury and it took several years for my back to heal and that set me back also several years in the gym because every exercise I did from there on even if I did chest bench press anything would make make my lower back get really tight cause a lot of pain I couldn't even do simple things like play basketball and stuff so I hope you guys learn not to make that mistake here in this video. So what you really wanna do is basically let the bar touch your shins and just deal, just kinda of deal with that pain because it's much better to scrape your shins and have a little bit of blood on your shins than it is to freaking destroy your lower back. So, Get the bar as close to the center of your body mass as possible. Let the bar uh, rub against your shin and lift the weight. And then a second tip is also use your legs as much as possible. Don't, don't go like this where your back is basically parallel with the ground. You want to bend your knees, get your butt down, 
and have your back more angled. This puts a lot less pressure in your back as well. And it allows you to use more leg strength instead of just back strength. This will also protect your back. Just wanted to help uh, any youngsters, beginners. I want you guys to not make that mistake. Don't hurt your back, because your, your back is very important, and that's something that once you injure it, you're gonna be pretty much dealing with that for the rest of your life. Um, I've been fortunate enough to, um, to strengthen my back and allow it to heal to the point where I don't feel that insane pain where I can't like bend down and tie my shoes. I do get a little bit of discomfort. Like if I sleep on my stomach for, for a large portion of the night, I might wake up with lower back stiffness, a little bit of lower back pain. But other than that, guys, make sure you Pay attention to this video do these tips and then also before you do deadlifts warm up your lower back um, that you could do simply by just taking some dumbbells and doing some good mornings just take a light dumbbell and just do these good mornings that's just gonna warm up your lower back and get it ready for the heavier weight. So thanks for watching guys. Pay attention to this video. Watch it two or three times if you need to so that you understand exactly what you should do and what you shouldn't do when it comes to deadlifts. I don't want you guys to make the mistake I didn't injure your back. So that's it for this one guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.